could have stained glass. If hell exists, I'm sure there's a special place in hell for people who smash stained glass. Say some heavenly words, B. Fought our Father who art in heaven, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Just got into our church, our first explorer of the day. It won't be easy to get into. It's nice on this little platform, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice place to chill. So yeah, we in. We're in. Where's Rob gone? Here begins today's lesson, the sermon 912 of the book of After the Apocalypse, chapter Urbex 1. Abandoned YouTube channel, check him out. Thanks for giving us a heads up on this location. Shout out. <laughs> no, honestly, his channel's brilliant. B don't interact with us anymore. He just texts bangers now he's got a camera. <coughs> check out these pink granite. Yeah, they are new, aren't they? They look pretty new. You know, it was once radioactive granite. Is it? Oh, it has still a little bit of radioactiveness in it. Yeah, so this is St. Church in, uh, in up in Lancashire. It was um, built on the site of a church called St John's Church which was here from about the 17th century but that fell into a state of disrepair got literally knocked down fell down by the wind and uh, there was no church here for a couple of years and the local landowner um, can't remember what it's called Mr Holt Sir Holt of Stubby Lee estate decided that he was going to concern himself with the uh, spiritual needs of the diocese uh, of the parish and so he started a petition to get this church built Took him a little while, no one really wanted to take it on, but he eventually found a vicar from the local area who was willing to become the uh, become the representative of God in the area, if you like, and undertake the building of the church. So he decided to do that in about 1854, and by 1860 it was built, it was here, and all the parishioners came to sing songs and do whatever they do for, for their Christian stuff. But um, it wasn't to last, unfortunately, like all churches, about 2007, it held its last service, so it was yeah, for a hundred years. You know, it got got over a hundred years of service, which is quite nice. But uh, see, in this day and age, spiritualism, certainly of the religious kind, isn't really that popular. So it closed its doors twelve years ago, and it's been like this ever since. To be honest, for a church, it's actually not that bad, is it, lads? It's all right, isn't it? Really, it's obviously, you know, it's not been used for twelve years, and it's it's got big open windows that can let all weather in and that. But um. But other than that, like, all oh, the lights are still intact and the windows are fairly intact. There's an organ down there, apparently, which we've seen in some of the other photos. Uh, so we're going to go and have a look at that as well. But um, we will give it a bit of an explore and we'll see what we can find for you. Some interesting artefacts and we'll send some bangers. Send it. And then, uh, and then we'll go to the next place. We've got three spots to go to today. Maybe four if we can, because it's a lovely sunny day and um, we're going to make the most of it. So let's go and have a look. Yeah. But wow. Look at this. It's cool. I wonder what's gone on here. Looks like there's been a fire. Oh, they've been uh, doing summer anyway, haven't they? Yeah, it does look like there's been a fire. Here we are, in this beautiful abandoned church. And it is beautiful, it's lovely. Here's these beautiful, like, granite arches here. Look at that. But I'll tell you what, these pews fetch a bit. Look, all hand painted on the side as well. 28, 26, 25. Who's out underneath it? There's a ball down there, a balloon or something. But these pews are usually one of the first things to go. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're worth a bit of coin. Get some money for these bad boys. Go on, what's that? A pine cone thing down there, look. There's all this smashness over here as well. These are like roof joists or something. I mean, there's something that's 
Someone's been having a go. Wow, look at all that. It's interesting back there, whatever. There's something down there. I think that might be the organ. That's the old door, look. Hmm. Very interesting. This is a pulpit. Look, look at that. It's a good nick, that. Bloody good nick. Someone's tried soaring through it. Look, they've tried having it. They've tried having a go. Let's appear. Look at that. Microphone cable. What's that? If you know, you know. To fall fucking no. Or something. There you go. This is where you come and do your preaching, look. We will be learning about God. That kind of thing. So, yeah. Yes! Still here. What I wanted to see. Look. Look. The old organ. Lads, there's an old organ here. It looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, like. Where's that fallen from? I don't think this is actually fallen stuff, you know. I think it's like. There's a sign on the door that says, Caution Falling Stuff. But I think, you can see down there, they've started ticking out pews, ticking out front row. There's a font over there. So yeah, look. So much, this isn't too sketchy, but check it out. Check this out. Oh, look, that's an organ pipe. Look at that. So that's what your organ's made out of, yeah? So... So you pump your air through, and it comes out. Pump your air through, it comes out of these, and the size of the, the size of the thing makes a different turn. In fact, there's another one down here, look, which is a bit scrapped. It's not a box anymore. Look, it's at different sizes. That'll be high pitched, not be low pitched. And then you use these. Look, great organ. Below all these to be different sounds, and twelfths. Yeah, I'm moving that. Like, wow, cool. Like different switches and that, that does that thing. Swells and a little mirror to see when the vent vicars come in. Hello. That's mega cool. I've also just seen the Bible over here. Look, that's a Bible. Big fast one as well. There's a font over there as well, it looks pristine actually, it looks really nice, really nice. And that over there is in memory, to the glory of God, in memory of James Madden Holt, who was an MP for this area, and a landowner, a state owner, and uh, he advocated for the building of this church, it was, it was his, his idea. What a lovely idea it was, because now it's left abandoned just from us. But it looks like it's been redone. This floor's not end here. Yeah. Helps. <laughs> speaker there, look. Love a speaker. <laughs> that, that was lovely, James. That was just that was lovely. Oh my god, look. Can see this font. Look at that. 13. Isn't it? That little thing there, look. What's that? Omega 2 something. John Holt. Many a, many a people indoctrinated into the Christian faith in that thing there. We've nearly, nearly achieved what we came here to achieve with this spot, so I'm going to go find another spot for you. But that's all from his church. See you on the next one. This is some sketchy floor in here, boys. <laughs> Look at that, is amazing. That looks amazing. Oh yeah, pearly shit balls. Tell you what, it's just, it's like a pigeon sanctuary now. Essentially that's what it is. We've seen a couple of nests here. Pigeons just flying all about going mental. There are people in my house, I'm trying to nest my eggs. That's what I imagine pigeons sound like. Hello, I'm a pigeon. <laughs> Look at that though. 1930s, I wonder what was on that. Charlie Chaplin, newsreel. Yeah. Awesome. There's loads of them as well. All of it. Whoa. <laughs>